Take a gherkin and slice the end off. Then cut out two thin rings. These will be our eyes. Take a baby carrot and cut out a thin slice we can use to make two triangles. These will be horns. Take a black olive and cut out two pips. We'll insert these into the pickle rings to serve as pupils and really enhance the eye effect. Repeat this for however many sliders you'll be making. To assemble, put the patty on the bun, then cut teeth into a slice of cheese. This is the most time-consuming part of this process. Place the cheese on the patty so that the teeth hang down a bit. Drizzle ketchup on the teeth for added effect. Cut a couple of divots into the top bun and insert the eyes. then a couple more divots toward the back for the horns. Pokey side up. Wash and slice an apple. My favorite for this is sweet tango, but any good apple will do. Add the slices to a mason jar. Add about an ounce of lemon juice to the jar. Acidity is important to apple flavor perception. And a couple of cinnamon sticks.
This bourbon has a spicy character, even though it doesn't have a significant rye grain bill. Fill the jar with bourbon and set aside for about two weeks. After two weeks, strain the bourbon off the apples and cinnamon. I like to drink this neat. It really doesn't need anything to soften it. In a shaker with ice, add one ounce each of green creme de menthe, white creme de cacao, and half and half. Shake and strain into a martini glass. You could pre-mix this, but make sure to factor in some dilution if you do, or else you'll probably kill your guests. Add the spring from a hawthorn strainer to a shaker along with two ounces of black sambuca, two ounces of lemon juice, and one ounce of aquafaba or an egg white. Shake without any ice for about 30 seconds to get the foam started, then add ice and shake for about another 30 seconds. This technique is called dry shaking and it benefits any egg white cocktails. Strain into a martini glass, then dash with cardamom bitters once the foam has set up a bit. create a bubbling quadrant-like effect. Many cocktail names serve as mnemonics to help remember their ingredients, and this is no different. The Sambuca, Lemon, Egg White, and Cardamom give a scary-looking evil clown, thus Pennywise. Spray two ramekins with oil and spread it around, then sprinkle in some sugar to line them. This will help with removal later. Separate an egg, whites in one bowl, yolk in the other. Then whip the white to stiff peaks. I always do this first to make sure my whisk doesn't have anything on it. To the yolk, add one third cup of milk. This is almond milk. A bit of matcha powder. You can find it in the tea section of the grocery store. One third cup of sugar. And one tablespoon of water. Then whisk briefly to combine and distribute.
add two tablespoons of flour, then combine. Fold the egg whites into the yolk mixture. Then add a few blueberries to each ramekin and pour the batter in. This won't rise a lot, so don't worry too much about overfilling. Bake in a baking dish with high sides at 325 Fahrenheit or 160C for 40 to 45 minutes. Add hot water to the baking dish to create a bain marie until it comes up about halfway up the sides of the outside of the ramekins. These can be served warm or cold as desired. Serve by inverting the ramekin onto a plate. The top layer has a pudding consistency while the bottom is much more cakey.